What was the major medical breakthrough in modern history? Was it anesthesia, antibiotics, or vaccination? Was it the wonders of medical imaging, from x-rays and ultrasounds to CAT scans? Or pacemakers, coronary angioplasty, heart transplants, or genetic engineering? Could it have been drugs like Prozac, statins, or even Viagra? No, it was the discovery and dissemination of basic public health, such as sanitation, hand washing, refrigeration, and indoor living and working environments. Before the 1850s, we didn't understand its importance in warding off communicable diseases. And people died as a result, often in thousands and almost always at very young ages. Public health fundamentally changed what it means to be human. Along with modern medical breakthroughs, it was simple things like clean water and sanitation that helped humans dramatically change the conditions under which we live, enabling us to experience much longer lives and for the first time with great regularity, the biological aging of our bodies. We succeeded in adding 30 years on average to the lives of individuals in many parts of the world over the last century. A dramatic achievement to be sure, but the real question is where does this leave us now? Is there a price we have to pay for the privilege of living longer? The answer is a definitive yes. While communicable diseases once killed us at a young age, today many more people live long enough for the privilege of experiencing chronic degenerative diseases associated with old age. Fragile bones, muscle atrophy, cancer, heart disease, sensory impairments, all signs that the human body was not designed for long-term use. In fact, we may have already reached or in a way actually exceeded the biological limitations of our bodies. When people reach older ages with both mind and body intact, it's a wondrous thing to behold. But where one or the other doesn't make it, the result can be devastating. A prolongation of old age, the very thing many of us fear most. Under these conditions, longer lives can be emotionally and financially challenging for the dying as well as family and friends. But aging and old age need not be thought of only as a time of loss and decline. For increasingly larger segments of society, healthy and productive aging is normal, representing a unique opportunity that few people throughout history had an opportunity to experience. A healthy older life can and should be nurtured. Today, a new medical breakthrough stands before us that may be as important as public health a century ago. I believe science is on the verge of discovering a longevity dividend. The health and economic benefits that would accrue to individuals and societies resulting from a successful effort to slow biological aging. Science is not there yet, but if we find a way to extend the period of youthful vigor, even by just a few years, the trade-off of chronic diseases for 30 years of life that public health brought us in the last century will yield a new and more positive way of thinking about aging and the extended lives many of us enjoy.